If you're a man over 60, should you be chasing a six pack? Is it even a healthy thing to do? In this video, I'll share the reasons why I think not. In a recent video, I shared four life goals that I don't think you should be chasing after 50. And one of those life goals was the pursuit of a six pack. I got a lot of comments, a lot of negative comments, to be honest. There were a lot of people out there who vehemently disagreed. So I thought it was worth another video just to cover the topic. Judging by some of the comments on that video, some people thought I was actually advocating that once you hit 50, that you should actually stop exercising completely and give up on life. Nothing could be further from the truth. I'm actually a proponent and an advocate of exercising in your later years. It's absolutely essential. That's why I walk five miles like I'm doing today on this windy and sunny day. That's why I lift weights two or three times a week. But I do think the pursuit of a six pack is a bit of an obsession that it's well worth ditching when you get to 50. I haven't always felt like that. In fact, I would say the pursuit of a six pack has been on my mind since I was a teenager. Like a lot of people of my age, I was obsessed with Arnold Schwarzenegger. We grew up knowing about Arnold Schwarzenegger and I wanted to be Arnold when I was in my mid-teens. That's why I bought his book, Arnold, The Education of a Bodybuilder. And I also bought a bull worker. Do you remember those? They didn't work for me, but they were, they were a fun device. I've tried everything to get a six pack. I really have, but I've never been able to get one. So now that I'm 63, I've finally given up. In fact, I gave up a few years ago on the attainment of a six pack. But as I said earlier in my video, I haven't given up on exercising and I haven't given up on the pursuit of a healthy body. I'm still very keen on that idea, but a six pack, no, I think the time has come to say enough's enough. Now I have done a lot to achieve that six pack. Don't think I haven't stuck at it because I have. At one point in my mid forties, I appointed a personal trainer and went on a very rigid diet for the best part of a year. And I worked out two or three times a week with him. And he was a competitive bodybuilder, giving me all his experience and all his knowledge. But it didn't happen. I think genetics have played a big part with me. I think the reason I've never been able to get a six pack is that I'm just not wired to get one. My dad didn't have one. I don't know anybody in my family who ever had one. My dad was a pretty healthy guy. He did a lot of exercise, he worked out a lot. He was a man who never really stopped, but he never had a six pack. So from that point of view, I'm gonna blame it on genetics, definitely. I've worked out on and off my whole life, especially lifting weights, starting in my teens, going to the gym with my pals, when, as I said earlier, we were trying to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger, starting out with the bull worker and then progressing on to lifting weights. That lasted well into my 20s. I was a regular at the gym. Then my career took over and I got distracted. I also got married and uh, that left little time for exercise, I'm afraid. So by the time I hit 30, my weight had ballooned. I'd shot up to about 15 stone. I guess in my 20s, early 20s, I would be 13 and a half stone, something along those lines, maybe 14 at a push. But yeah, by the time I hit 30, I'd gone up to 15 stone. And that's when I started the yo-yo dieting and the on-off exercising. So my 30s were all about diet, packing, gain weight again, lose weight, start dieting again. I tried everything, Atkins, 5-2, Carnivore, you name it various versions of those types of diet I'd been on throughout my entire 30s. By the time I retired at 44, I was pushing 16 stone. And that's when I hired the personal trainer. And one of the things I said to him was, I want a six pack. He had one, he was a competitive bodybuilder, as I said earlier. So it seemed realistic to try and attain that. So I worked out, I dieted, I went really hard at it for the best part of a year and my weight came down, came down from 16 stone to 14 and a half stone, but no sign of the elusive six pack. So I gradually drifted back into my old ways. I hate to admit it, it was a weakness on my part, but all the weight came back on again. So by the time I was into my mid fifties, I was back over 16 stone again. Now at that point, my teenage son started to take an interest in the body beautiful as well. And he started thinking, thinking about attaining a six pack too. So we started going to the gym together and the cycle started to repeat itself. I dieted, I lost weight, I went to the gym, I worked out with weights. My weight dropped again to below 15 stone. 
but still no sign of the elusive six pack. And the same with him. He really went at it. He'd be, I guess, 16, 17 at this point. He was a little bit uh, chubby as a, as a smaller child, but he lost all that puppy fat. He worked hard, but no sign of the six pack. He built a lot of muscle, but no sign of the six pack. And I had a word with him at the time and I said, look, don't worry about it, son. It's genetics and it's not a problem. You don't need one. You're fit and healthy, you're muscular, you look good. You don't need a six pack. Then he went off to college and yeah, you can guess what happened next. I drifted back into my old ways. I started exercising less. I started eating a bit too much. I've got to be honest, I was a bit depressed about the fact that he'd gone. Empty nest syndrome and all that. Uh, I stopped going to the gym and my weight shot up. I actually shot up to being the heaviest I'd ever been. I was around about 16 stone 10. So I gained the best part of two stone in a, in a few years. It was not good. I, I had the dad bod. So I hit 60 and I was 16 stone plus. And that is not a good place to be when you're that age. Age, so I decided I was going to do something about it. Around about the same time we moved house from our bigger house. Uh, I've mentioned that in previous videos. Uh, a gym was in walking distance so I joined the gym and I started going two or three times a week. Plus moving to the new house brought with it a very active lifestyle. A lot more walking for example. I was getting a good six or seven thousand steps in just by normal activity walking around the city, going to the shops, things like that and walking to the gym. But the one thing I dropped from my goals when I was 60 when we moved house was the attainment of a six-pack. I decided enough was enough. I wasn't doing it anymore. I just wanted to be fit and healthy, but I wasn't bothered about a six pack anymore. Not long after moving house, I was diagnosed with a health problem. If you've watched any of my other videos, you'll know that I've got gallstones. Uh, I'm currently on the waiting list for an operation on the NHS. I've been on that waiting list now for the best part of a year. And the operation is actually planned for December. But one of the byproducts of having gallstones is I've had to go on a very restrictive diet, low fat, low sugar, just to try and keep the complaints under control and that's worked and one of the benefits of going on that diet is that my weight has gone from over 16 stone to as of recording this video 13 stone 11 and I've continued to go to the gym I've continued to walk up to five miles every single day but guess what no sign of the elusive six-pack I'm not bothered anymore I've permanently dropped that goal now I just want to be fit and healthy particularly with this gallbladder issue. Once that's resolved, I think everything will be fantastic, but I will continue to make sure that I'm lean. I've got a body fat percentage in mind that I think will work right for me. I think if I'm around about 15 or 16% body fat, that'll be great. But I'm well aware that at that percentage, it's unlikely that my abdominal muscles will be showing. And I'm okay with that, that's fine. So looking back over my journey, I think I have at times been obsessed with getting a six pack and I don't think that's been a healthy thing. I'm fairly certain that the gallbladder problems were caused by the yo-yo dieting. There's quite a lot of scientific research that shows that fasting in particular can concentrate your bile in your gallbladder and lead to the formation of gallstones. And I'm pretty certain that's what's happened to me. I've had conversations with my 25 year old son on this topic because I don't want him to be obsessed with the body beautiful like I've been over the years and I don't want him to yo-yo diet. So what I've basically said to him is, look, your genetics mean that you're probably unlikely to get a six pack unless your body fat plunges below 10% and that might be unhealthy. And yo-yo dieting, look at me, I've got gallstones probably because of the yo-yo dieting. So don't do it, don't yo-yo diet. By all means, if you find yourself gaining a bit of weight, exercise more, cut back on some calories, but don't do anything restrictive restrictive. Don't do any of these silly diets where you've got to eat all meat and nothing else or you've got to cut out carbohydrates completely or you've got to eat two times your body weight in protein, whatever the latest fad happens to be. Don't do that. Just keep a balance of fat and a balance of carbohydrates and a balance of proteins, but just cut it back. If you need 3000 calories to maintain your body weight, well cut it back to 2000, but keep the balance the same. Just eat less of everything. I'm hoping he takes that on board. One of the things I did mention to him was that when I signed up with a personal trainer in my early 40s and I became very obsessed with getting a six pack, I did notice that the personal trainer was always wearing a thick fleece, even in the hottest of weather. And I remember asking him why. And his answer was that he was always cold because his body fat percentage was so low. 
Anyway, that's my two penneth on the attainment of a six pack. I've ditched it now that I'm in my 60s. I probably should have ditched it a long time ago, but I just wanted to clear up one thing for the commenters who think that I'm advocating packing in a healthy lifestyle. Absolutely not. Keep working out, keep moving, keep walking, because you will regret not doing that if you hit your 70s and your 80s and your 90s even, and you lose your mobility and you lose your independence. So no, I'm not advocating that. I think you should keep healthy, keep exercising. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.